All right, guys, welcome back to Black Renaissance. It's coffee time. I'm excited. Here to share the science, the history, and the business of coffee is Keba Conte, owner of Red Bay Coffee. Welcome to Black Renaissance. Thank you for having me. We are so excited to have yes. you on here today and to Great. talk about Red Bay Coffee. For people who haven't visited, don't know what mm -hmm. Red Bay Coffee is about, tell us a little bit about your mission. Well, we're a small batch coffee roaster uh, based in Oakland, California. We import coffee from around the world. And we are, you know, in the, coffee, in the specialty coffee segment. So we roast in small batches and get them out to our clients in offices and grocery stores. And you guys have all sorts of different flavors. We're going to get a chance to taste yeah. some of your coffee. Yes, I'm I, looking forward to that. I think a lot of people don't even know that coffee tasting is a thing. But oh, we're going to yes. go there today. We're going to go deep. <laughs> okay. I can't wait. First, though, Kepa gave me the tour of Red Bay Coffee Warehouse Space in East Oakland where all the magic happens. Here it is. We are importing coffee from around the world, from places uh, like Ethiopia, Tanzania, Guatemala, Brazil, and more. What are we looking at here? Beautiful. Well, you're looking at our Guatemalan coffee. This is a what the coffee that we call Pretty Penny, and uh, basically it was just coming out of coming out of the roaster. Uh, this is a medium roast coffee with really uh, kind of fru fruity notes and a lot of body to it. You know, basic, the basic idea here is we're trying to find that sweet spot for each coffee. Roasting it long enough to bring out the, that full body flavor uh, and mouthfeel, but still trying to retain some of the unique fruity and uh, floral characteristics that each coffee has to offer. So, and once it dumps in here, there's so much coffee, 45 pounds or 50 pounds of coffee, and it's generating its own heat so it will continue to cook. So it's really important that, that this process, the, the cooling tray, is mix, mixing it and cooling it as rapidly as possible. And uh, yeah, the next thing we'll sort of release it and dump it in, bring it to the next station and bag it up. Once all the coffee is roasted, we bring it here, we bag it uh, within 24 hours of roasting it and we have it out to our clients in 48 hours. You know, we're still a, a very small roaster, so we're a micro roaster, and we pack each of these bags by hand, we label them by hand, we stamp them by hand, so it's a very labor-intensive process. And how many bags a day are we talking about here? So on a busy day, we might bag up four or 500 bags. Wow. Yeah. Well, I like to say that coffee is Africa's gift to the world, and it started in Ethiopia. They, that's where they have 6,000 varietals of coffee. There aren't 6,000 varietals of coffee in the rest of the world combined. The reason that we have this whole Africa here is just to remind the world that, that Africa is the origin of, of all coffee. Um, and you know, we want to pay homage uh, to that fact. I had a fantastic time visiting your facilities, nice. seeing the roaster going, and just watching the packaging by hand. Yeah. That was a fantastic experience. Yeah, You thanks. guys have a beautiful space there It was there great as having well. you by. Well, okay, so here's the thing. So, so okay. we, we have all this coffee here. Yes. Uh, you, you actually do coffee tastings at your, at your lab there. Right? Yes, yeah, every second and fourth Friday. So come on by, it's so free and open to the public. And I think in California, we know about wine tasting. Yes. I don't know that we know enough about coffee tasting, so talk to me about about, uh, what coffee tasting is, what we're going to be tasting today, and what we're looking for. Well, you know, coffee tasting is a very important part of what we do as a coffee company to evaluate the coffees that we want to buy in the first place. Mm -hmm. And once we choose a coffee, and when we, you know, uh, we do a coffee evaluation to basically make sure our quality is consistent mm -hmm. and to, you know, choose the right profiles. We also do coffee tastings to do sort of an analysis of what else, what other coffees are out there, and just overall kind of uh, and, and educating our palates about, about the various tastes um, that coffee has to offer. Well, my palate is totally uneducated, so help me out here. We have okay. three different coffees. Tell me which coffees we're going to be tasting. So we have a, um, our King's Prize, which is a medium roast coffee. It's a single origin from Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. and then we have our East 14th. This is also a single uh, origin coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little darker roast. Uh, it's called East 14th. Um, there's a story behind that. Okay. And that comes from Tanzania. Uh, we have a very special 
relationship with the with our growers there. Okay. Um, and this coffee is our Brazilian cake lady. I like the from name from Brazil. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and what it, what they all have in common is its direct trade relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and but they all really different profiles. So we have a darker roast and a couple medium roasts. Okay, let's start out with the King's Prize, yes. right? So so how do we taste? What do we do first? So you're gonna take the, your spoon. Okay. And now we're gonna do what you've. We're going to try to unlearn what you've been learning all of your life, which is to slurp the coffee. Ooh, we have to make a okay. lot of noise. And the purpose for this is to sort of aerate the coffee inside of our mouth so as to get a really good so taste of it. So slurping it by the spoonful. Yeah, here. so you're going to just take a bit there. Okay. It's right. not too hot. Keep your teeth closed and just sort of... Now, I practiced this. Go I'm, for it. I, I did not do well okay, the first time on. around. You'll I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. Okay, that's much better. That's I think I got one. a little bit better, actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So this is a you know medium body. Mm -hmm. So so you still face, taste the body there, but you know typical of Ethiopian coffees is you'll get hints of blueberry, mm -hmm. um, maybe some chocolate nubs if we you know depending on the roast profile. Okay. And um, and then whatever else you take. So. Okay. So. So, you know, what you could do is sort of just call out any flavors or, you know. <laughs> I mean, I taste. definitely think I, I tasted a little chocolate something in there. Yeah. So I could, I could uh -huh. taste that one. Um, I don't know. It tastes well, like coffee to me. Taste Good another coffee. one and then we'll compare. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's try it. Right, so okay, so we put it in spoon. the water. Okay. Now the East 14th. East 14th. Yeah, okay, the Tanzania. Let's try that one out. Okay. 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 Yeah. Just a little there bit here. Okay, your slurp is getting pretty okay, good. Okay, I'm getting a little better. All right. Mm hmm. Um, what are so, so, hmm. I like it. It tastes very yeah. smooth to me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm getting the flavors that you're so, supposed to get. Well, well go back. <laughs> but I want to try just, again. And do a compare. Okay. And like, okay. what do you notice the difference? Yeah. You don't really have to, you know, find any distinct, okay. you know, flavors by name. But, you know, you'll find which one you like and you'll gravitate I definitely to like it. this one. The yeah. East 14th is really tasting to me. Um, and it's, it seems a little sweeter than this mm -hmm. one. I don't know okay. if that's, but, yeah. but I well, like it. Well, it's our reason. most popular coffee. It is. So, that, you know, <laughs> so now let's move over here to okay, the Brazilian. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, Brazilian coffee <clears throat> and see what you think. Okay. And what kind of uh, notes can I expect from Well, this you one? know what? I'm just going to taste it first. <laughs> just let me Because the up power of suggestion right. is a real thing. <laughs> That's true. Yes. All right. Let's try it. Uh huh. Mm, well, this one tastes very different to me than these other two. Um, but or you said these two are medium roast, right? Yeah, these are medium this roast, and this is the darker <laughs> roast. But they taste really different to me. <laughs> like yes, and, and, and that's, that's kind of the point, right? Where I, I really want to just show you that coffee, there's a spectrum of coffee mm -hmm. flavors and tastes, even if they're from the same country, even if they're both roasted differently. They all have something different to offer. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, and tasting is one thing, you know, but you could also smell the coffee and you'll, you'll sort of maybe get different notes. Um, so we okay. could also I, do that, which a is a part of, of these yeah. each. Yeah, and it's not so different from wine tasting, it seems, yeah. where you're smelling, you're trying to familiarize your palate with it, and they definitely smell differently, each yeah, of them. Give it a little shake to, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the smells going. Oh, smell, the smell of coffee, there's nothing better than that in the morning, yeah, I'm telling very you. Good. Well, these are, th this is fantastic. Thank you so much for showing me yes. this. I uh, am definitely thinking I should stop by your shop and do some more coffee tasting there. Come on by. I would love to. Yes. I would love to. And anybody who wants to taste some fantastic coffee and learn a little bit more about your palate and, and tasting, visit Red Bay Coffee. It definitely lives up to its creed. Beautiful coffee to the people. Thank you so much, Kaba. You can find Red Bay Coffee in Northern California at Whole Foods stores, and you can order directly online. Their website, Red Bay Coffee. Com. And coming up, we're about to get all tied up with one of my favorite DJs, Armand from KBLX. We'll be right back.